How's the adjustment been? Good. I mean, Good. more difficult than you expected, more comfortable than you expected. I mean, how, how, how challenging has it been to walk into that quarterback room after only being here for like 14 hours before that? I feel comfortable. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a big learning curve. Um, I really felt like, I, I honestly felt like I expected worse, um, but I, it's been pretty smooth. I mean, I love this room. Me and Kyle are really close. Me and CJ are real close. Me and Chad, like, literally, there's no hatred for anybody in this group. Like, everybody loves each other. Everybody wants the best for each other. It's a really cool environment in there. And it's so cool to learn from each one of them. And it's so it's so crazy how much each guy knows and how different everybody's game is. And you just kind of feed off of each other. Expectations with this season. Obviously, you're not naive to the fact that you playing this year means that something is either going wrong, yeah, or that you're in a game that maybe doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, you just got to be ready when your number's called no matter what, and Coach Day preaches that all the time. Um, just got to be ready to go when you're, when you're called. That's really how I'm treating it. I'm not worried about where I'm at or anything like that. Just trying to get better and learn from these guys. For you, the reps that you're getting now, I think probably is putting, probably getting more than maybe you expected because CJ doesn't need quite as much. Uh, definitely adjusted to the speed for sure. Like way different with our defenses and what we're getting. Even on the offensive side, like we haven't ever seen a defense like this really. So it's a learning curve for the coaches too. So being able to learn from them and, and kind of adjust really fast because we're never knowing what the defense is going to give us. Um, so like I said, just just being able to react fast. Anything that as a quarterback, adjusting the speed of receivers like in high school, you had good receivers at Corner Canyon, but not like this, right? Right. I mean, how, how much does that change your engine when you have to get rid of the ball? Where you feel comfortable throwing? I mean, yeah, I mean, the window for error is a lot bigger because, I mean, our targets are a lot bigger and they can make a lot better catches than guys we've had in, in the past. But the speed r really isn't in terms of receivers. I had speed of receivers. Like, my slot receiver, Cody, is going on the like, division one football and one of the fastest kids in the country. Um, so that's really not the biggest uh, uh, learning curve. It was more so just the speed of the defense, the speed of the D-line. It's coming a lot faster than in high school. Is that good for a guy like you? You're sort of a gunslinger mentality, right? Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Is it good to know that, hey, I can throw it pretty much anywhere, anytime, or would it actually be beneficial for you as a freshman to have a little bit more of a reined-in approach? No, I think... You, you definitely do have to have a reined in approach. You're not just going to be out here slinging all the time. It's, it's just depends on what the play is, really. But I, I wouldn't say I, I'm going out here just trying to throw the, the deep money ball every time. Like I'm just trying to work through my reads and hit as many targets as I can, get completions. That's really the main thing. Find check downs if I have them. Because a check down on second and 20 could be third and short. It's a lot better than second and long. What specifically has come easier for you? You said, you know, it's been some parts of it have been, you know, maybe smoother than you thought. What, what specifically, I guess, has been, has been a, an easy transition? Just, just being out in the field, I thought like my athleticism would be behind. I, I didn't think I'd be able to move around as good as I can and make some of the throws early on. What type of feedback are you getting from you know Coach Day when you, when you uh, you know talk with him and, and through the, the transition and everything like that? Yeah, I mean it just uh, just depends on what kind of day it is to be honest. But uh, no, uh, it's it's all been good. You know he knows it's early on and just they keep telling me steady in the boat. Don't don't ride the roller coaster. It's, it's never too high. It's never too low. Just stay steady. What kind of lessons have you learned? From Oh, they've been great. Like every little thing they've been helping me on. Anytime I got a question on a play, anytime I got a question on a blitz, anything like that, like they're right there ready to help me. It's never like, oh, I don't want to help this guy because he's behind me or anything like that. They've been super helpful on literally anything I can ask them. Dad, how much more complex is what you're looking at across the line than it was a year ago for you? Night and day. Uh, <laughs> explain I, that. I mean, explain how you put that puzzle together. I never really had to worry about protections in high school. It was like our protection was we were either pass blocking or run blocking, and our pass blocking was the same thing every time. So it really wasn't ever different for me in high school. So getting out here, I got to know what blitzes I got coming and what fronts we have, what defense has. So it's there's a lot of different things that can go into play. So yeah, I, I was gonna say uh, a little piece on this about how you guys deal with the, with the chaos in front of you and yet keep your eye down the field. You know, for what you're right. How long do you think it'll be? Before you feel comfortable with what you're seeing and adjusting to? Is it just a continuing process? No doubt. I think it's definitely just continue, continuing on every practice. Like, it gets better every practice. You know, those first few snaps live, it's like, wow, it's coming fast. Like, you got guys around your face, you can't see routes. But it'll just over time slow down and I'll know where guys are at. And you're never really looking at guys in front of you unless he's right in your face. So you got to trust in your own line, trust in your running backs. Yeah, and how many times have you gone to the line, uh, gotten ready for the snap, and the play went off exactly like you thought it would? You're, I mean, the coverage was exactly what you thought it would be. The, 
the blitz or the twist or whatever they're running. Yeah, I mean, it happens every once in a while, but with our defense and what Coach Dolans does, you never know what you're going to get. So. Yeah. Yeah. What, what stands out about this defense right now, in your opinion? Just, just you never know what you're going to get. I um, mean, all of a sudden you can get three guys up the A gap and you, you didn't even see it coming in the first place. So. You're like, okay, yeah, I'm at that next level. Probably the first play I watched live or first play that I was in live in our first practice, like it, it's just a whole different world with how yeah. fast everything's coming and what different blitzes are coming. Once they started bringing blitzes, it's like it, this is way different than everything you've ever seen before. So like, wow, it, it really is a yeah. big step. Do, do you feel, was it intimidating for you? No, or? I wouldn't say that. It's just new. Like yeah. you just got to get used to it. Because I know you were talking about that like big playbook, you know, yeah. last time we were here. And, and, and I'm curious about, I mean, how much of that have you kind of, was that an adjustment or is that something that you're kind of like, oh yeah, like I'm, I'm getting into it. This is something, this is new, but this is something that I'm kind of learning to master. Yeah, yeah, I would definitely say that. And every week we're putting in new plays, every practice we would yeah. be putting in new plays, which is different from high school, but the playbook has been really good and I felt like I'm pretty comfortable with everything ever. How have you gotten, I know you talked highly of Kyle uh, when during winter workouts. How has your relationship with him grown and then CJ grown as kind of the spring's gone? Oh, we're all super close. Like, like I said, we was telling them earlier. Like, we're all just super close, and everybody wants the best for each other. Everybody's trying to help each other in every little situation. Like, we if we can help any advice on like a different throw or something like that. Like, Kyle, Kyle was locked in his room the other day, and he was calling us to help him get out of his room. Like, it, it's just we're all there for each other. It's a super cool bond in that whole quarterback room.